Thank you for tuning in to learn more about ProImmune's integrated approach to managing immunogenicity risk. My name is Emily Knowlton, and I'll be describing multiple strategies for preclinical immunogenicity assessment of urotherapeutic. Antidrug antibody formation, or ADAs, can occur when a therapeutic is recognized by the adaptive immune system as foreign. The ADAs can alter the PK and PD of the drug and ultimately result in treatment failure. These unwanted immune responses can occur via a T-cell dependent mechanism as shown here, where the therapeutic gets taken up by an APC, processed, and presented via an MHC class II molecule to a helper CD4 T-cell. The activated CD4s can then interact with their cognate B-cells, resulting in the proliferation of plasma cells and the release of ADA. Understanding what sequences from the therapeutic may be treated as foreign can help to minimize sequence-based immunogenicity risk. As you can see in the immunogenicity toolkit, we have several assays that focus on various steps of this pathway, enabling you to evaluate the natural antigen processing, the binding of peptides to MHC molecules, and what the functional T cell responses look like. The ProPresent, Reveal, ProCERN, and ProMap assays are each designed to address key questions and provide information to help make decisions about your program. These tools can be implemented throughout the drug design process, whether you have a handful of variants to compare, a lead candidate to characterize, or even just amino acid sequences generated from your machine learning programs. Promune's integrated approach allows you to select the most appropriate assay to evaluate your therapeutic, saving you time, money, and overall project risk. The majority of these tools utilize cryopreserved PBMCs from our cohort of healthy donors who have been fully typed for class two. We use a broad panel of 10 to 50 donors for each study to best fit the global population, ensuring a diverse scope of HLAs are represented. I'll briefly describe each of these tools and lay out strategies for how and when to use them. The ProPresent assay is an exquisitely sensitive tool that utilizes mass spectrometry and proteomics to identify epitopes from a protein of interest. We load your protein onto monocyte-derived dendritic cells where it gets processed and presented on the surface. We then lyse the cells, immunoprecipitate the MHC peptide complexes, and sequence the eluded peptides using tandem mass spec. This widely utilized approach has been used to characterize therapeutic antibodies, blood replacement factors, complex bacterial pathogens, food proteins, and many more. One key example comes from Editas and the FDA, where ProPresent was used to identify 22 unique peptides from a Staphylococcus aureus CRISPR-Cas9. Promiscuously presented peptides detected across multiple donors represent sequences that are at a higher risk of immunogenicity due to broad population coverage and could be considered for engineering. You can also evaluate peptide binding to MHC molecules in our cell-free reveal system that utilizes recombinant MHC molecules. This approach can be a cost-effective and high-throughput way to evaluate regions of your biologic, such as the CDR by synthesizing overlapping 15 mer peptides and assessing binding to any of our 55 class two alleles. In this example from Baxter, peptide families from factor eight were assessed for binding across the class two supertypes and the cumulative panallele binding score is shown. The reveal assay can give impactful information on peptide binding without having to purify any protein. T-cell proliferation assays are the gold standard for assessing T-cell activation in the immunogenicity field. We offer two different versions, including the ProCERN DCT for understanding whole protein immunogenicity and overall T-cell epitope content, and the ProMap naive T-cell assay to evaluate individual peptide epitopes. Both tools utilize CFSE, which is an intracellular staining dye that gets incorporated evenly into the daughter cells every time the cell divides. This is a very sensitive flow-based method that measures the total proliferation over a seven-day period. We report the data as percent antigenicity, which are the number of donors responding out of the total number tested. We also provide a response index, which takes into account the strength of the response as well. The two assays will differ, however, in the input material and information they provide. In the DCT assay, we generate monocyte-derived dendritic cells and load the antigen at a fixed molar concentration. 
The DCs are then co-cultured with autologous CFSE labeled PBMCs. This is a great lead selection tool that allows you to directly compare how each of the therapeutics are processed, presented, and activate the T cells. You can use this to rank your leads as elasmogen have done to compare their shark VNAR domains. In the T cell assay, we directly load the PBMCs with synthetic peptides. These can be sequences derived from the ProPresent assay, in silico analysis, or even as a library of overlapping peptides from a region of interest. This is yet another tool you can use without having protein available and when you want to compare mutations or variants against the wild type sequence. In addition to activation of the adaptive immune response, biologics can also stimulate the innate immune system, triggering cytokine release or a cytokine storm. There are a few key FDA guidances on evaluating the risk for these adverse events, including the use of PBMCs or whole blood in a cytokine release assay. We offer the ProStorm assay that utilizes fresh whole blood from donors recruited specifically for the study. A range of therapeutic doses are incubated with the blood overnight, and a panel of cytokines are quantified. This is a very sensitive tool that can measure the effect of aggregation and impurities and help to benchmark your lead therapeutic against other drugs in the clinic to better understand the risk for cytokine storm. Understanding the immunogenicity risk of your therapeutic and making decisions about your program relies on a combination of tools. We have decades of experience providing these assays in evaluating a wide range of molecules. Please do reach out to the inquiries email address to get more information and schedule a chat with the ProMune team. We can provide you with strategies, sample reports, and pricing tailored to your specific immunogenicity risk assessment project. Thanks very much for your time. We look forward to hearing from you.